years ago, I was working on TypeScript and I had an issue and I couldn't figure out why and it took me a while to figure out. So the problem I was having is with TypeScript, I was working on Angular, so Angular uses TypeScript. So um, I had, um, for example, I have a TypeScript file and the problem was I wanted to parse an integer. So, and it was throwing an error, but I couldn't figure out why it was throwing. So this was the issue. So I'll show you a simple example, how, how you can replicate this error. And I'll show you what exactly was causing an issue that I couldn't catch. So this was the issue. So let's say, um, let's say we have a constant in and it's my number. And it's a number. I could just put 10. It will automatically will be cast as a number, but I just want to show you. And if I do console log and I say my number, yeah. So this wouldn't have any problem. So if I go to terminal and I call TSC, so you need to install TypeScript to run TypeScript on your terminal. So you need to Google for that, but this is how you run it. And you just write fi file name. And then if you say watch, it will be automatically created. So if, if you see, you don't see here JavaScript file, but if I click it, uh, this file will automatically create the JavaScript file. And here it is. And you see that they're mostly the same. So TypeScript is converted to JavaScript. Yeah. And if I run this JavaScript, I'll, I'll see 10. And here, I have no issues uh, with compiling yet. So let's say I, I don't know what this number is. And this is what I was doing, parse integer in my num. Yeah, if you see parse integer, if I click again, if I click again, parse integer, uh, it says it needs a string, yeah? And if you see it, it's with string, but this is a number. And this is what the error was, TS2345. And it says type number is not the same parameter type of string. So parse integer with a string. And here I was trying to do, to be safe, yeah? For example, if I have constant, like new number, and it's a number, and I just wanna assign, I wanna assign uh, my number to a new number. So what I did, I, I said, uh, I can read here. So I said, because it was an asynchronous call, I wanted to be sure that the result coming from the server was an integer. So this is what how I thought is the safest way to, to be sure that it's a number. But, so if you look, I'm getting this error and now I know that this is the problem. Um, but the thing is, it wasn't like that. So. If I run this one again, I'll get the same number. Um, let's say um, this is what I had. This is what my problem was. So I have a I have an object here, an object, and this object is a for example, it is the it expects, for example, from a server, it expects um, like the, let's say my number here. And, and it expects, let's just be my number. And this is the result. And I hear when the result comes back, um, I say, mm, let set number okay. 
again and it expects my object and then it just says uh, so it it just sets uh, my object is equal to my object yeah so let's say response so not to confuse so I'm setting my object to my object but in there was an interface yeah an interface was uh, my object interface and here there was the my number the same thing my number but here you you set the number so when I when I'm expecting response I expect it to be my object interface okay so so I'm, I'm setting the my response to to my object so if I say here um, a, for example if I want to be sure that the result is a number let's let's test it so um, console log and I'll say uh, parse integer and response dot my number. So this was the error. So because the response uh, doesn't have anything yet. Um, for example, I just set set number and I call my object. Yeah, my object. It's a number, so it, it. But here, I'll get the same error. It says uh, number is not assignable, and because I'm using an interface, this was the issue. I didn't realize. I didn't go and check the interface. I, I was, I was sure that uh, it comes from the server, but I didn't realize that interface has a type, and because. It was somebody's code. I didn't realize that this was the issue. So this was in the other file, and I only saw this coming from the server. Yeah, and it has an interface, and I didn't realize that that was the issue. So um, I couldn't figure out what the number is, and so I just wanted to let you know that even though you are expecting something from the server and you always check it. But because it's an interface, it has its own checking beforehand. So you don't need to check all of it. Your only check is whether it's like negative number or it's greater than zero. So you're not subtracting or doing something wrong. But otherwise, uh, this interface is very good uh, way of ensuring that the result is a number. So you don't need to parse it here. So if I remove this and it works, by the way, if I leave it like this, and go to my type JS and I just run it again. It is the same, yeah. So if I if I run it again, oops. So if I if I run if I run the same thing here, so the refresh. So if I run it again, I get ten. So in in JavaScript, you wouldn't have any issues parsing the number, yeah. But in the uh, TypeScript, you will get this problem if you if you don't pay attention. So it took me so a while to figure out this problem. That's it.